Five months ago, stuck in scandal, and not long after leaving the Conservative caucus, Senator Mike Duffy said he'd give Canadians his whole story. Today, he let loose with it in the Senate. And his version of the expenses mess landed like a bombshell. It was scathing, jaw-dropping, a direct shot at the highest office in the country. Duffy drew the Prime Minister closer into the spending scandal. We've always known the two spoke about the affair, but today Duffy revealed another person was present at the time. Well, after caucus on February 13th of this year, I met the Prime Minister and Nigel Wright. Just the three of us. Now, facing suspension, Duffy also alleges that it was the Prime Minister who was the catalyst behind a conspiracy to repay $90,000 in expense money. This is an extraordinary story. We're mixing it up a bit tonight. National Affairs Editor Chris Hall is standing by. Our at issue panel is just minutes away. And Rex Murphy is raring to go as well. But our coverage begins in the nation's capital. Senior correspondent Terry Molevsky followed all of the day's developments and has the latest for us. Terry. Well, Peter, Mike Duffy has done it again, but this time he's gone nuclear, and his target is not the PMO, but the Prime Minister personally. He says that Harper, in person, pressured him to pay back his expenses, whether or not they were improper. And despite my doctor's orders... Duffy came to Parliament Hill, heart trouble or not, to try to save his job. And although there's no TV in the Senate, the audio alone is compelling. I was ordered by the Prime Minister, pay the money back. End of discussion. Nigel Wright was present throughout, just the three of us. Duffy called it a conspiracy, maybe even a criminal one, saying the party brass had approved his expenses, but the Prime Minister didn't care. He just wanted to end a scandal that bothered the Tory base. Finally, the message from the PMO became, do what we want or else. Meaning, said Duffy, that he'd be booted from the Senate. He said that threat came from then-government leader in the Senate, Marjorie Le Breton, and from Ray Novak, who later replaced Nigel Wright as the PM's chief of staff. And if Duffy didn't have the cash to pay back his expenses, no problem. Don't worry, Nigel said. I'll write the check. After that, Duffy headed for his car and one more comment. The message to Canadians is we should have TV in the Senate. He is not the only senator the government wants suspended. We haven't heard yet from Pamela Wallen. Senator Brazo, what are you going to say? But we sure did from Patrick Brazo. If this is the Harper government's way of believing in democracy and exercising democracy, I think we should all be very fearful. This is a complete joke, a complete farce. And Stephen Harper, you lost my vote. But all that was just in the Senate, and things got rough in the Commons, too, as the opposition went after Harper. How are Canadians supposed to know if the Prime Minister's telling the truth if he doesn't even know himself? Tom Mulcair played the role of prosecutor. On June 5th, the Prime Minister said that no one else in his office knew about Nigel Wright's $90,000 payment to Mike Duffy. Was that true? The Prime Minister claimed he'd answered that before. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I've addressed that question some months ago, in fact. Uh... Problem. Harper has not answered that question, and an RCMP affidavit says other PMO staffers were in the loop. But Harper blamed Nigel Wright. As uh, we all know, Mr. Wright himself uh, has said uh, this was a decision he, t he took himself. The Liberals, too, tried to pin it all on Harper. Will the Prime Minister take any personal responsibility for this abuse of Canadians' trust. Those uh, individuals who have been engaged in this particular affair have been dealt with and continue to be dealt with. Mulcair tried again, quoting Mike Duffy's claim that Nigel Wright told him we in the PMO had a plan to pay back Duffy's expenses. Who's we? Mulcair sat down, but when Harper didn't stand up, he jeered as Harper's parliamentary secretary, Paul Calandra, took the heat. Uh, the Prime Minister has, uh, has answered these questions uh, very clearly on a number of occasions. Calandra changed the subject to free trade with Europe, but Mulcair goaded Harper to answer. Only the Prime Minister can answer. Again, Calandra got up, but then had to sit back down when Harper rose to a chorus of jeers from the NDP. In the end, Harper's answer was barely audible. Of course he said he told the truth, but 
the opposition claimed victory. Today he actually tried to hide in plain sight of all Canadians and we saw how pathetic it was. Now the Senate will resume debate tomorrow on the suspensions, but the stakes seem higher now. As bad as it was already, Mike Duffy has made the Prime Minister's Senate problem worse. Peter. All right, Terry, thank you. Terry Malewski in Ottawa.